Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful Monday morning. I'm on my first break of the day. Getting some steps in. We walk, we don't walk on Saturdays and Sundays. Some Sundays, but yesterday was, I was tired. As we told you, we're doing some repairs on our home. So, <laughs> Saturday was a bear. But, uh, so I got exercise in, but it was home exercise. <laughs> but today, I'm out this morning. Mr. Willie is not with me. He's at home. <laughs> but, uh, getting some steps in. Looks like it might rain today. So, wanted to make sure I get something in early. But, uh, feeling good. I don't normally update my weight, but I am down close to 20 pounds. So I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you for watching. Never forget, we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Goodbye. And look, there we are. Hey y'all. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Rat dog. Rat dog. Rat dog. <laughs> <laughs> There's three of them. Yeah, total weight about about a pound and a half total. They may weigh what our cat weighs. Maybe together. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. This is Monday, March the fifth, fourth. March the fourth. Fourth. March fourth. Well. Are you, are, are you marching band nerds? March 4th. March 4th. <laughs> he used to be a band director. Well, yeah, I did music and wrote for halftime shows in a former life. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Don't remind me. <laughs> We've been kind of MIA. I recorded Friday my walking, but I'm, I'm trying to create a vlog so that we can combine all of our walks. So, walk Friday, didn't walk Saturday or Sunday, but Saturday was very active for me. As we told you, we are in the middle of uh, doing a little remodel, just minor stuff like new floors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know what that is. So I was busy. We moved our whole living room. We moved it out of the living room because they put new flooring. We've had a carpet um, since we moved in and we moved in in 99. So that carpet had been there a while when we got there. Not, uh, not a no, real, it hadn't. Not a real it long new. time, but a couple, maybe a year or two. Uh, a it was years brand away. new actually. So, um, cause they had done remodeling. And uh, we got, so it, 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 was there, it was there when we got there. So it's been there the whole time since, since at least 99, probably 90, 98. And uh, it went. Yay! I'm so happy. I, happy. I hate carpet now. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, uh, hey, but but that that piece of carpet had to go. It had mm -hmm. been there a long time. It, so. had, it had done its job and plus. Yeah. So, but had a little delay in, but um, we got enough activity in on Saturday. It was busy. It was busy. But uh, today we're back at it. I recorded earlier. I walked and right now we're on a lunch break. Mr. Willie has to go to work a little early so. Yeah Monday is my early day but it's also my early day getting off too so that's really super yes. cool. Yes. So um, we're gonna get some steps in here and we were gonna talk about things that deter your goals. Got got some Oh, pollen. Yeah, pollen. <laughs> pollen. Yeah, things that <laughs> it can deter you from being you outside. Or, or slow you down. So I have to take my flow nays to make sure I can be outside. And then it's not guaranteed to really help. But that's one thing that can deter me. <laughs> well, so what you do is that you make plans. Mm -hmm. You know something may happen. That may turn you but 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 then you have an option. You have you have a plan B or a plan C or a plan 
double Z or whatever. Um, you find you you find ways around it because you're smart. Mm -hmm. You've done you've done harder and you've done harder stuff. Whatever it is, you you've done something that was more difficult. Um, so you know, find a way around it. Don't just don't just get stopped because it gets difficult because it's going to get difficult. It's going to get inconvenient. All of it. It's going to be lifing. You know, that's life. It, 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 and, and it doesn't matter what the thing is, whether it's something in relation, you know, in, 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 in relationship or something in, in, in your health or something in your finances, whatever it is, it's going to get hard. It's going to get tough. But you can find a way. You can find a way around or through <coughs> it. Okay. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's what's up right there. Hi. <laughs> okay, that's an older brother dragging a younger brother on his bicycle on some sort of, I don't know, wagon like some sort thing. of wagon. It's awesome. They're having the time <laughs> of their lives. <laughs> this is the time they remember. So it's awesome. Wow, so, but it's but it's cool. Anyway, so you know, don't the get, kids are out of school for some reason don't, today. Uh, is it <laughs> strawberry festival then? I guess. Yeah, strawberry festival. Then. <laughs> Oh, well, these kids are obviously not in the strawberry festival. <laughs> uh, but um, so don't get deterred. Don't get deterred, and don't and, and don't get depressed or upset by you know things that slow you down. Just keep going. Keep going. Just keep going. You can always start over. Yeah. Just to. because you had a bad day, a bad two days, a week, you can always start over. Start over. And get back into gear. Like I tell my music kids. Okay, you missed a note. Start over. <laughs> you missed a note. And it's okay. You missed a note. It was loud. It was gross. Yeah, I know. I was here. I heard it. Just start over. It's okay. It's okay. So just start and we, and we want to say, always remember. Never forget that we love you. And there's nothing, nothing you can do about it. Peace out. Peace. Peace. Love you. <sighs> here we are. Hey, y'all. It's been one of those days. Nothing. <laughs> Same thing for me. I had a busy morning working. Didn't get to take a walking break. So I can tell it in my body when I don't move. <laughs> yeah, well, our jobs are that we sit and do our job for the most part. You know, those days of, of running around the restaurant doing stuff. Yeah, they, they, they ended a, a long time a long ago. Time ago. <laughs> But we're here, committed. Getting a few steps in. This getting morning. some steps in. This afternoon. And I'm on my break, lunch break, so. But Mr. Willie can't walk long. Can't walk long today. Got, I, I got to get to work early. Got some stuff to do before work. So, uh, but you know that, like we were saying the other day, that, that that idea still is like, yeah, things may not be convenient, but you know the the things that you have to do get moving that kind of stuff whatever goals you have you got to decide to put some time in um, regardless even if it even if it isn't the most convenient time or, or, or the easiest thing just get some time in just do something don't just ignore it you know no I can't you know I can't walk for 20 minutes a day or a half hour a day but I can walk for 10 minutes a day so I will mm -hmm. or just five minutes walk down do to something. the end of the street walk back Get loose, get them hips loose, do something. Cool. And I try to, since he bought me a new desk. We did get a desk. <laughs> I can stand and move. So I walk in place sometimes there and move. But um, it can be tough sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But time, schedule, all those things will factor in it. And we keep talking. We keep telling you about that. All those things will, will seem to get in your way. But you can overcome it all if you just keep going. You keep your eye on the prize. You just keep going. And it's easy to fall back into our old ways. Yeah, just don't do it. <laughs> doctor, doctor, hurts when I do this. Well, well, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. So. so it's a little overcast, so we don't have our sunny Florida day today. No, it's going to rain here in about four hours. Uh, we got some rain coming in uh, off the Gulf, so. That's one of the things about the Sunshine State. It rains sometimes. Yeah. It's a tropical storm. It rains. State, so. It's not anything, it just rain. Water comes from sky. Water come from come from sky. Go splash. 
<laughs> yeah, that's probably racially insensitive, but well, whatever. Y'all will be all right. <laughs> but we just want to take some time. Please check out our YouTube channel, Deb's Life so that you can see our videos. We have a long video vlog on there and we'll be vlogging a lot more on there. You'll see some of these repeats walks on there, but um, we're collecting, putting together and doing this to help encourage people. Yes, you know, and, 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 and I heard from somebody uh, that they watch us walk and they, you know, and they are encouraged by us. So that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. Want to encourage you, you know. I mean, we're not some of these YouTube people who are super fit. Like when the super fit people who are in their twenties tell you to go, shut up. <laughs> I want to hear from. Somebody. I got up at five o'clock this morning. I want to hear who's went 20, to the gym. Twenty-two years old. Who, I don't. I don't want to hear from you. <laughs> I don't. I don't. It helps to see Love some people that are silver haired, you know, and still moving and through, trying to encourage. Who have been you. through some stuff. Yes. And so this is this is a special thing. Yeah, yeah, it was super easy at 22 to do all that stuff, to play basketball every day and to run and ride bike. I rode a bicycle everywhere I went. Yeah, at 22, but at 63, eh, if I can just get up and walk around some and make myself feel better. I'm good with and it. And, we're hope, and we hope to encourage all the people who are, you know, who have moved some months on the calendar, you know, you can do it too. Yes. So you 22 year olds? Well, it can be for other 22 year olds. No, it's they not. Can... It is showing off. <laughs> Tied <Tidy> off. <laughs> Always remember and Don't never forget. forget. We, we love, you. love you. There's, There's nothing, nothing you can do about, about it. it. Peace. Peace. God bless. Happy Tuesday. Didn't quite get a chance to do my meal prep this Tuesday so I'm making some dinner for the fam a little quick something after I get off from work it's got some shrimp and some peppers and snap beans and all kinds of good yummy vegetables in here and I use that G Hue teriyaki seasoning in there and we're gonna have some brown rice with it yummy yummy taking care of my family so hope you enjoy this little segment thank you for watching and we love you please like comment and subscribe thanks good morning guys I'm on my way out for my first morning walk just wanted you to take a look at some of these leaves in our yard we try to wait until mid-March or the end of March to, to just get our yard man to do the entire thing. Because if you do it too soon, you'll have two rounds of leaves. Because you can, as you can see, some of the leaves are falling now. So let's turn you around. Good morning. I'm out on my first walk, morning break. Mr. Willie is at a eye appointment. It's time for him to get some new glasses. <laughs> he doesn't stay up on the eye situation as much as I do, but um, yeah, it's time for him to get some glasses and he's doing his duty of eye exam and he's gonna the next week probably have some new glasses but this morning is kind of cool it rained all last night here so we have wet grounds but it's a clear sky so it's beautiful outside but it's wet but I'm doing well not as busy today as I was yesterday morning, so I do get a morning walk this time. Only had a lunch walk yesterday because right as I was getting ready to go out for an afternoon break walk, 
it rained and it rained all night long so but we needed the rain and I'm of the caliber if it rains at night I'm perfect with it I don't have to deal with it so that went well and just want to give you guys some encouragement again to get your walk in today to relieve any stress and things that are going on it's amazing how exercise can help you live a better life and feel better about yourself if you deal with seasonal depression because you live in an area that possibly doesn't get a lot of this <laughs> then you need to exercise where you can and when you can inside um, there's so much stuff that's free on TV YouTube that you can get plenty of exercise so don't be like I was for years and not take care of your body thank God that I'm able to do it now and catch up and feel good and not be depressed have a blessed day we love you and there's nothing you can do about it peace out good evening I thought I would share a bit of uh, my personal uh, reflections today this is my little uh, area that I do my prayers and um, I will also do a zoom in about an hour with my church where we have a prayer meeting we have prayer meeting on Wednesday evening and I'm a part of the prayer intercessory prayer team at my church and I had this made about it's been now about three years that I had this made for me it's a prayer box and I'm not sure if you've ever heard of this before but this was made by a young lady in our church and it's it's very cute how she designed it because that's what I do right there is sit here and pray for people and I've already taken out Here's what it says inside. That's so beautiful. And I have my three for the week out here. But as you can see, it's loaded with lots of uh, people's names and different issues and things that I pray for. And I sh on Mondays, I shake it up and I just pull out three of these sometimes four whatever whatever the holy spirit leads me to do is what i'll do but i pull some out and i will focus on praying for that that issue or those people that this that week and here are my three just for privacy reasons i'm leaving that blank that you know leaving that covered there but um I pray for those people and focus on them and I will give them out in my prayer meeting as well and we focus on that and pray but I have been um, my gift is intercessory prayer which is like a family gift because my mother had the the gift of intercessory prayer my great-grandmother had it as well and um, that the Holy Spirit will put someone on your heart or on your mind or whatever to pray for. Because sometimes, even though I pull people out of this box or issues out of there, other things come up as well. Sometimes I'm awakened in the middle of the night and and somebody is on my mind and I will pray for them until I'm at ease about it. And... This is something that my mom used to do, and I would I would thought find it odd that sometimes I would wake up and find her, you know, 
somewhere praying in the middle of the night. But now I understand. <laughs> As I got older and she explained it to me and so forth like that. But I also have volunteered at my job to be a uh, what they call a chemo angel where I pray for people that are going through chemotherapy and they email me a name of a person or, or their issue or their family member issue and I focus on praying for them also on a weekly basis or whenever I get an email but um, I, I feel so blessed to have this gift because I have seen so many people heal, so many th issues solved, co-workers. I, when I worked in the office, I kept this box on my desk. And people could you not unanimously put their name in there if they wanted to. Or they would come to me and ask me, you know, Deb, Miss Debbie, will you pray for me for this? This is going on. Will you pray? And I feel so blessed to have this, um, this gift. But um, I thought that was something that I should share with you um, as I sat down here to begin my prayers for today and get ready for uh, my prayer Zoom call, which we started doing during COVID, of course. And because we're so spread out all over the county, my pastor thought that that was a good idea to just continue it like that and more people attend. We even have people from out of state that attend that are in uh, Illinois and other country, Utah and all these areas that have come in on our Zoom prayer. So if any of you are interested and would like to be added to the list to be on that prayer with us, you are welcome but I felt the need to share this. So this is just a part of our lives. Thanks for watching. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Hello, hello, happy meal prep Wednesday. As you saw on my shorts yesterday, I did not have time to work on this yesterday. Plus my meat wasn't all thawed out. But we have some Mexican bowls here. There's uh, ground turkey, uh, black beans, corn on a bed of yellow rice with broccoli, steamed broccoli. And then we have chicken thighs that I roasted and cut up and put um, taco seasoning on as well. Taco seasoning on the turkey and then the chicken thighs mixed in with the corn and beans and veggies and we have a variety of them thank you for watching have a blessed day good morning it's thursday morning out on my break getting some steps in did a few house things and Thursdays are normally my laundry day so got up early enough to put laundry in and then I switch it out doing a break and it's a whole <laughs> mom work from home thing When my son is out working, he's taking a break and coming in. He asked, he called me, to see if I wanted some coffee <laughs> from Starbucks. That was so sweet. So, of course, I had to say yes. Somebody coming in here. But, uh, it took all I could to put myself out here this morning. But I wanted to document this because it ain't always easy. And you all know that. 
because I'm constantly coming on here whining and complaining but there's no nobody to blame but myself for this so get my steps in have a good day I'll be back and this is gonna be in a vlog talk to you later maybe it's a perk maybe it's a perk <laughs> hey y'all good afternoon good afternoon everyone it's a lunchtime walk for the Lawsons. Yeah. It's warm out. It's here. hot. Here. Well, it's warm. It's not hot yet. It gets hot in August when it's 95 degrees. When when this kind of walk is just undoable, really, because it's, it's super yeah. hot. We're going to have to change that up. You got to go early in before August. it gets too hot. In August. <laughs> but uh, we're out here enjoying the weather and... A little time together and walking. Hey, walking. Yes. Looking at the neighborhood and me and my husband, hubby, me being judgmental of people, but he's not. He will do whatever they do, you know? But uh, I'm wondering why young men in their 20s and 30s are sitting out at their house at their house or somebody's house they may be visiting they may not live here they may be on vacation they may have the day off i don't know who knows why aren't they working <laughs> that's me i don't know <laughs> but i have to learn to not be so judgmental maybe, it's a perk. <laughs> maybe it is a perk <laughs> they could be on vacation Sure, they could be doing anything. I think they I, could be I think on lunch a, break like me. And I think that's something that a lot of people have to realize is uh, sometimes, and I, and, and I said that a minute ago, sometimes things are exactly what they look like. And sometimes they're nothing like what, what they look like. Uh, and we get so many images, especially on the internet, about what you know people are What's trying, going to, on with trying, people lives. trying to portray an image. There's nothing like that at all. Or someone tells you that somebody is like this. Uh, and that's the image, and that's the narrative they, they pull, and it's not true. Yeah, and when they actually don't know they don't have any what's idea. going on don't in the person's idea. life. They've never met them, they've never talked to them, they don't have any any, any clue. So we have to be super careful. You have to be, you have to use discernment. And we've been given discernment as Christians, we've been given discernment. Uh, when, we, when we see and hear things. Don't jump to conclusions. Do not jump to conclusions, because frankly we don't know. You don't know the backstory. You don't know what people have going on in their lives. And most people have something going on. That is yes. true. Most of us have something going on. And here and comes that, that truck. There's a truck. A truck. Oh, that, that big Ford truck? Yes. <laughs> the big Ford truck. Are they turning? There it is. Yes. There it is. Very. There you go. We all want one of those. We don't, none of us need one, but we all want one. <laughs> My drugs probably never, ever been on a piece of dirt. They probably go for, you know, in the, Maybe. In the mud and all I that guess stuff. Not. I'm, I bet not. How much do you bet? Write down in the comments. That, <laughs> that has never been on a trail. That has only been on the city streets. In the mud, you know, they have little mud packed places mm, up in here. Maybe. But not likely. But it's loud. <laughs> Never seen it in the neighborhood before, but um, whew, we gotta get out of this sun. That's nice stuff. I like it. It is nice, but because I don't like being cold, <laughs> not at all. I like being cold. I hate being cold. <laughs> but not not Chicago, New York kind of cold. <laughs> oh, you, you see. <laughs> I didn't even say I don't like being cold at all, and that, and, 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 and that way I don't have to. I'm picky about my I, cold. I, I got to be picky. I, I got to be picky. No, I don't be cold. But uh, we just want to again be accountable to you guys and come out and say hello. And we're doing our thing. Just like we said, we're we're doing. we're doing a new thing, trying to vlog every day, and then put it together at the end of the week and let you guys see he does it. I'm, I'm not up on the editing yet, guys. I'm not. Although I installed the editing program on our laptop, which we just pretty much immediately ignored. But that's okay. <laughs> I got to practice. Yes. But I'm going to get there. Baby okay. steps. I sat with you 
Yes, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Last week. That is so true. this week, maybe I'll do it and you watch. Yeah, we'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> Always remember and never forget. We love you. And we there's love nothing you. you can do nothing about it. Nothing you can do about it. Peace. Peace. Good morning. Just a quick little walk all by myself this morning on a Friday. UPS truck. Just trying to be accountable. Thank you for watching. Well, good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday. Saturday, oh, who knows what day it is. <laughs> um, I don't know what day it is, but uh, it's a Saturday in March. Uh, it's going to be, we're going to spring forward, so we're going to lose an hour of sleep tonight. But I am home getting my hair done it's my weekly wash and twist and whatever I do to my hair I wanted to share with you guys because I know you've noticed my hair change over the years um, during COVID I decided to stop coloring my hair and because you I didn't want to do it at home and of course you couldn't go to any beauty shops and my hair was, uh, you color it, and within t a week or two, you could see all the grays coming out. So it was, uh, I wore wigs and did what I could with my hair during COVID, and we were home. So what I decided to do once the, once the shops opened up and everything like that, I went ahead and I chopped all my hair off. I did a big chop. And started all over again and decided to just let it go gray. My hairdresser talked me into it, which you know you have a good hairdresser when they will do things that benefit you and you and they are not making money off of it. So, but um, I have always had really soft, thick hair and um so when i when it, it it shrinkage is real with my hair my hair is way down here now i'm tempted to go and get it um blown out and get it straightened you know but the straightening did some damage to it when i used to do that so i decided to go truly natural no color no relaxers everything is just me and I frankly like the way it turned out. Um, it's more dark over here than here. And I use this purple shampoo, um, which helps to keep the, the silver really shine and pop. And I do that. And sometimes I will go with it like this and just gel it up and wear it, you know, really natural like that with uh, just the curls. Or I will twist it up and so this week I'm gonna twist it up I had it twisted for um, two weeks actually and then I took it down and the twist this week you were seeing it with the little curls in it and stuff my husband loves that style <laughs> he likes my little curls but um, today I'm going to this is what it looks like freshly washed I'm getting ready to condition it and then um, I'm going to twist it up and I'll come back and let you see the end results. I don't film while I don't like all of that moving it and doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm just not comfortable with that yet. <laughs> but um, here we go. Going to get this hair done. And I'm in the middle of doing my bed I changed my sheets on my bed on Saturdays and doing my bed laundry and stuff like that. Just put some new sheets on. My kitty cat helped me. <laughs> but uh, they're in the, the old ones are in the washer, have some new ones on, and then I'm going to fix that up. But it's just a Saturday here by myself 
Um, I did a workout last night that was just wore me out, so I had to sleep in. I did, it was called a 15-minute workout for beginners. <laughs> and I hung in there to the very end, but boy, was I tired after doing my walking earlier that day, too. But I just want to get, and I feel so good, though. You, you wonder why, why don't you exercise all the time? It makes you feel so good. It's so good for the body. So we'll be back after I finish with the hair. Thank you. Howdy, howdy. So it's a few hours later. And um, well, about uh, <laughs> three hours later, I bought, washed, conditioned my hair, done all the things to it twisted it up uh, right now it's it's wet so it's drawing up very tight but um what i normally do at night is i will once it's dry i will twist it again i take parts like this and i'll twist this up together so that it will have crinkles in it and it and it makes it longer it stretches it out so i stretch it out overnight so that it will um, be a little longer. But like, as I said, <laughs> shrinkage is real. And right now it's soaking wet with product on it. And the product that I use is Cantu. Uh, it's for locks and twists and natural hair. And I'm pretty happy with that. I... Um, it usually comes out really well and stays moist, so it grows quickly. My, but my hair has always grown very fast. I'm at the tail end of putting my sheets back on the bed and, well, putting new sheets on the bed. New sheets were on the bed, but I'm putting away the ones that I washed and new pillowcases and all of that. All the sweet stuff, and then I'm going to vacuum and clean up in here in our bedroom. And by then, my honey should be home because he works on Saturdays teaching. He does a few lessons on Saturday until about 3 o'clock uh, from 10 till 3. And that's, he loves his job. So he loves music. He's a musician, in case you all didn't know. And he teaches music as well. But he um, should be home by by the time I get done with all my little tidying up here. And then we're going to spend the afternoon, evening together. We may go watch a sunset or go for a walk in the park. We don't like, normally do that on Saturday. Saturdays are our chill, chill day. But um, we will see. But we may bring you along for whatever we do or we may not. So... For now, happy Saturday. Have a blessed evening. Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful Monday morning. I'm out on a break, taking a few steps. Had a great weekend and ready to start the week off. I hope you all had a great weekend <sighs> I did some workouts but in the house this weekend didn't do any walking thought I was gonna get out yesterday but that daylight savings thing hmm. <laughs> but so happy to see you all well talk to you all I can't see you but let me get back on the trail. Talk with you later. Hello, hello. Hey, y'all. What's going on? We're on a lunch break walk. Yeah. Today's Monday, March the hello. 11th. <laughs> Nice out. Nice, nice sunny day. Probably in the mid, mid upper 60s, I guess. 67. Something like that, yeah. 
not much going on out here. It's pretty quiet for a Monday. Except for that. Which way? Uh, let's go to the left. Because I gotta, I gotta head out. So. He's gonna leave me early today. Yeah, some stuff I should have done yesterday that I didn't do. Yeah, we pretty much, well I, pretty much rested yesterday. Yeah. I needed it after, you'll see on some of the previous vlogs, I, I did a work, I walked Friday, and then I did a, a video, a YouTube exercise video that was supposed to be low impact <laughs> and it was only like 20 minutes 20 minutes that's all it wore me out <laughs> Mr. Willow was asking from the other room you okay you all okay right, <laughs> but on, okay? It, it felt good it's been a few years since I've done any kind of aerobic like that so it's gonna take some time to get back used to it yes we went to church and came home <laughs> yesterday <laughs> that was and that was it <laughs> pretty much but feeling good rested are we stopping here yeah yeah we got Okay, rest for a little. And this thing is covered in, in pollen. Alabama. But. So when they say Florida doesn't have seasons, they are wrong. We have summer and we have pollen season. <laughs> and that's why you have to wash your face and hands and take a lot of showers. Pollen is like little sharp little pieces of thing that get in your skin and irritates you. And when the wind is blowing, it just jam right into you. Oh, Saturday, wash the car. Yeah, you can't tell. And it's like <laughs> get up yellow, the next morning and it's it's cool. yellow tint on it. Lovely. But it'll be over in a little bit. It'll be over probably in the next two or three weeks. It'll be over. As I showed you in a previous vlog when I was getting ready to go out walking, our yard. It's a night, it's a, like a, it's covered a in war leaves. zone. It's covered in leaves and pollen. Yeah. It's, it's sad to watch the people out there, they're sweeping, they're bagging leaves. Leaves are falling on their head at the same time. We don't mess with it until the end of probably March. Probably, March, probably, probably. the third, third or fourth week of March. And that's, that's when it's usually over. Otherwise, you just you should you just chase your tail. Every other week, you'll be raking leaves. You're chasing your tail, and not just a few leaves, like tens of bags, like dozens of bags of leaves. We end up with no less than twenty. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're easily gonna have forty bags of leaves this time, easily, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. easily. But we don't do it. <laughs> Our yard man does. <laughs> Mr. Benjamin. Now, say twenty years ago, Debbie and Alex used to get out there, and we did them ourselves. But it's Debbie, a lot. Al Debbie's allergies said, "No, no, no, ma'am, you ain't doing that no more." No, so, it just seems silly to go out there and then just feel terrible for like a week. It seems crazy. And he and Alex actually has uh, worse allergies than I do. He will start out. We know when it's coming because he'll have a cough for a few days. And back when he was a, a kid. His pediatrician told me that I had to get rid of the cat because the cat was causing it. We didn't get rid of the cat. <laughs> and I've had a cat ever since. He's not allergic to cats. He's allergic to pollen and the all the pollen and all the other stuff in the air. Mm -hmm. Ready? Right, so. Okay, folks. We're getting back. We're going to walk a little faster. So we're going to say goodbye. So have a great rest of the day now. Be well. And always remember, never forget, we love, love you, you and there's and nothing you can do about, about it. it. Peace. Peace. Well, hello there. Hey, y'all. 
It's the Lawson clan on a Tuesday afternoon. It is Tuesday and it's just barely afternoon. What yes. Is afternoon? You want to hold? You do better than me. Yeah. Well, we're uh, out. We haven't started work yet because that deb has got a, um, a change work schedule today. Yeah, this week I gotta work the weekend. Yay, working weekends. Yay, like I always do. But uh, <laughs> but this is my only my. It, this is like my second weekend this year. So that's cool. It's not bad. And I get the morning off. And so we're taking our little walk, and um, Deb's doing some meal prep, yes. and you'll see that. And when we get back, I'm gonna work on the video for last week. So hopefully t tomorrow, next day, probably next day, uh, you'll see that. Let's say Tuesday, probably on Thursday, uh, we'll Thursday. get that out. Well, because tomorrow's Wednesday. These <laughs> things take a while. As you can see, I, I don't know. <laughs> they take a while. And those of you who do that know they take a while. You want to go this way? Yeah, yes. Yeah, and uh, I went and got glasses today. I picked them up. I went and got them. It, and it was last Wednesday I went. Last Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it took just a little bit less than a week. a week. I told them on one of the videos that you were at your doctor's appointment. I was getting some new glasses because those glasses, I don't know, about 18 years old. I don't know how old they were, but they were pretty old. Probably about four or maybe, five. Maybe four or five, maybe six or seven, eight or nine. <laughs> But, like I said, I, I renew my glasses more regularly than he does. I do. That's, that, that is true. So, I picked pick, pick those up, went by the Wally World, and actually it was, wasn't bad. wasn't bad at all. It's pretty good. I have been using Walmart Glass Care, Eye Care Center for over 10 years now. And, believe it or not, it's been good. I've had a good experience. The doctor that's there has been there that whole time. And they give good quality glasses. Yeah. So when something works, no need to change no it. No need to mess it up. If it ain't broke, don't break it. <laughs> and he's just coming on a board. Well, I've been now. there before. I've been there before. I've, I, but I, I've gone to a lot of different places, though. So I'm sort of, you know, whatever. Yeah, he just goes wherever. He's Lynn, one of them free spirits. Lynn Cra Lynn's Crafter, Pearl, uh, wherever, wherever. Uh, because for me, it's only about the frame. The eye exams are generally the same. Mm -hmm. I've been I've had the same eye exam since I was eight years old. So uh, it, it's about where I can find a pair of frames I like. I didn't start wearing glasses until I was in my thirties. Eight. So I was eight. 50, almost 50 years ago. And I'm pretty sure that came because working on computers or, became more relevant then. Or just moving the calendar. That happens. So, okay. Yeah, it's moving. Well, that was the big adventure. That, that was the big adventure so far, so. Yay. Looking forward to being able to read music again. Without taking your glasses off? Without taking my glasses off. I think I spent more time out of my glasses um, than actually wearing them. Uh, except when I'm driving, of course. But there you go. It's nice out, though. Very nice. And we're able to take a little more extended walk. Yeah, a little bit. Because it's going to be hot in a little bit here in Florida. Uh, this is Summer Junior. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be hot. It's going to be super hot in, 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 you know, in, in a few weeks. And the walks will be be out here, but earlier in the day. Earlier in the day, not as extensive because it's going to be and too later hot. Later in the day. Yeah, because it's going to be too hot. That's all right. And with the time change, we get so much daylight. And I like the time change. I do. I I, I like daylight savings time. I like uh, having more daylight when I'm out. Yes. I don't really care that it's. You know, the sun's up at 6 a.m. Because I'm not. <laughs> we don't need sun at 6 a.m. I, I don't need sun at 6 a.m. I just don't. So that's not the part that I, I'm concerned with. 
Wow, this street here has so many trees. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's scary. Oh, no. It's nice. All the pollen. There's a bunch of pollen, though. <laughs> they say that Florida doesn't have seasons. Yes, we do. We have summer and pollen season. <laughs> and, we are, and we are deep in pollen season right now. That is for sure. But it's, it's going to abate in probably two or three weeks, too, so. just what it is but we thought we would bring you guys along with us to see as always what we're doing trying to stay accountable can't walk every day but walk most days just just a little bit as you can see not running not training for a marathon uh, not training for a triathlon or anything just moving a little bit get the hips moving Move it, Mark. Yeah, okay. <laughs> may, may. Are you in there with us? Maybe. Have you got your walk in today? Maybe. <laughs> Have you got your exercise in today? No, just, just a little bit. Th th just do something. It's like we say all, uh, you know, almost every video. Just do something. That had to be, that not to be, you know, again, you don't have to lift, lift heavy weights or, you know, or run for a mile. Just do something. Just walk around the house. Get, go outside and walk around your house. Or walk around your apartment. Walk around to your, walk around your your apartment complex. Something, something. You might just meet some neighbors. And once you get started, you'll find that that it's easier to do it again. But that's the whole idea. There's a car coming. I see it. So once you get started, it'll it'll be easier to do it again. The hardest part is getting started. Because when we started. We honestly could only walk to the end of the street and back to the house. Yeah. Well, the idea is to do something. And now, today, we are walking a block. Well, we're walking around, around our block. block so, <laughs> and be careful. You, you listen to your body. Uh, if it hurts, then you might want to readjust because we're not in a we're not in in a place where. No pain, no gain. No, 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 no. Pain is like, hey, listen, uh, stop that. <laughs> stop that. Do something different. And I've been looking on the internet for uh, indoor exercises. And they have stuff on YouTube suitable for whatever level you're at. Mm -hmm. They have sit down, sit and be fit. Mm -hmm. They have... Bed exercises, if you're not able to get out your bed, watch out, somebody behind. All right, well, they should be on the other side of the road. If you're not able to get out your bed and you need to do some leg lifts and move like that, they have that. There's all sorts of things that you can do. You have to look at, you may have to search it out, but there's all sorts of things you can do. And, um, and those type of exercises, may get you to a level where you can just do what you can again I, I, I say that every time I see you just do what you can don't let anybody shame you into anything else or embarrass you that well if you can't do this then you shouldn't be You're doing anything fit. that's just dumb <laughs> just do whatever you can and be happy in it because the more you do the more you'll be able to do so that's the cool thing the more you do, the more you'll be able to do. Okay, so thank you for joining us. Thanks. Truck. Well, they should be on the other side of the road. And they are. Thank you for joining us again. And always remember. Never forget. We, we love, love you. you. There's, there's nothing, nothing you can do about, about it. Peace. Peace.